Welcome to Versus. This month's battle is between Pop Mart's newest Skull Panda series, Image of Reality, and Skull Panda's Ink Plum Blossom. I picked two Skull Panda series to battle it out because honestly, who can beat the designer Skull Panda? Let's start with the older series first, Ink Plum Blossom, which came out only a few months ago. This series is inspired by calligraphy art and blooming plum blossoms. I love the art style and the material they used for the box. So much attention to detail has been put into this. For this series, we have the standard 12 options and one secret. I'm obsessed with the secret, so I'm really hoping we get it today. As for my favorites, I'm really hoping for the valley, the moon, or the wind most. This series is so gorgeous though, I think I would love any of them, but those are definitely my three favorites. I have seen the courtyard in person though at my local store and it looked very cheap, so I'm hoping we don't get that one. And this series is on my wish list to get a full case, but I haven't picked it up because Pop Mart series are like $300 in my currency, so I thought I would pick up just one to see what I thought of this series. Let's open up my first Ink Plum Blossom blind box though and see who I got. This box doesn't feel that heavy. It's kind of in the middle, so I'm not sure who we have inside, but let's go ahead and have a look. Oh, I love the bag. Pop Mart has been dabbling in unique bags for certain series. They don't use it all the time, but it's nice to see that this series has it, and this bag is gorgeous. And which Skull Panda did I end up getting? Oh, this one is so pretty. I love the darker mood of this series. Wow, this figure is just so gorgeous. Oh, and I love the subtle plum blossom on the back. It's the only pink in the whole figure. There's just so much to look at. And it looks like we should have something inside of the bag for the hand. We also have like an ink flowing technique on the back of the head. That's really cool. So let's see what accessory comes with this cool figure. Oh, it looks like we have a lot of stuff inside of the box. We have two cards. It looks like the character card and a smaller card. Oh, and we have our accessory. And here's the card. We got the bamboo. The bamboo is number three out of 12 for our series. And it looks like it has splotches on it like ink droplets. This is so pretty. I really love this card. And it's really beautiful in the light when you move it. It looks like the wet drops are reflecting. And our second card is a little information card. It basically is talking about how they use immersion printing to mimic the effects of traditional ink painting. This is the first time I think I've unboxed a blind box with an info card about the design process, so that's really cool. I think Pop Mart should do that more. The accessory is a lamp for our Skull Panda to hold, so let's attach it. I really like this lamp. It's such a nice touch. She looks like a little night watchman with it. There's so many details, it's hard to decide what to look at first. This series is very elegant and dark. Like it was created with ink, but there's more of a muted vibe to it. The details on the back are my favorite. That water transfer method they used is so cool. My only negative is I wish we had that detail in the front because it's hidden from view if you're looking at your figure from the front. It's funny how the leaf on the head reminds me of a pot leaf and not a bamboo leaf, but that just might be me. A lot of Skull Panda series lately have included a lot of details in the back, which is too bad, but it's nice that Skull Panda as a design is using the whole figure. I mean, this figure is just so incredible. I'm so excited to get more from this series. I'm still debating if I'll end up with a full case. Pop Mart is so expensive these days and this series feels light and maybe not the same quality of vinyl as previous series, but I do think this figure is good quality and the theme is so perfect. What a wonderful inspiration. Let's unbox our second series. We have the new Image of Reality series, which is based off of surrealism. As someone who loves art history, I really love this theme and the inspiration. We have 12 options again and another beautiful secret. Skull Panda has some of the best secrets of all Pop Mart characters. My favorites are definitely the philosophy, the imagination, the sore, and the constraint. I do love the pivot and the disguise as well. This is definitely another full case contender to me, so I'm really curious who you think is the best and who's going to win today. 
This box is definitely heavier than the other series, but these figures are standing where the other ones were sitting. So let's open it up and have a look and see who we have inside. And it looks like we have the same bag as the previous series, which is cute, but I wish Pop Mart did unique bags for each series like Finding Unicorn does. Let's see who we have inside for our image of reality. Oh, it looks like we got the one with the creepy mask. I do like this one. It reminds me of a magician with this hat and cape. And it looks like we have plastic and a bit of foam protecting the mask. So creepy to see our little lamb face inside. I thought it was a rabbit, but I think it might be a lamb. Oh, it looks like the mask isn't removable. The mask is on a hinge. I'm surprised it's not magnetic. I think I would have preferred it to be a magnet mask instead. The hinge definitely adds to the creepiness as well. And it looks like we got two accessories, a cane and a star. Not sure where the star goes, but the cane should fit in the hand, so let's do that first. And it fits really well. It kind of looks like a sword to me and not a cane, but I think it's supposed to be a cane. Oh, and I had a look at the card. It looks like the star accessory goes in the hat. Ooh, I like how it peeks through the hat. That's a really cool effect. It kind of looks like an illusion. And here's our card for the disguise, which is number four out of 12. And it is a bit reflective too, but it's a bit more plain compared to the other card. This skull panda is so creepy, which I love. This is definitely not the series to get if you think skull panda sometimes is too creepy, cause this definitely leans into the creepy and not the cute. And it's not just like a little lean, it's a really heavy lean into creepiness. The star does fall out of the hat as you just saw. It fits pretty snug, but I wouldn't want to push it in more. It should fit perfectly without having to force it and not falling out. The shading is so well done though, and I really love how there's wear on the hat. There's such a great attention to detail. And I do love opening the mask to reveal the face. It's so satisfying. You have to let me know which face you prefer. Do you like the outside skull panda kind of clown looking face? Or do you like our really creepy lamb on the inside? This figure looks really amazing with all of the accessories all set up. It's really cool. I really love the metallic paint though, and I love the height of it. And it looks like this figure does have one foot raised, so it looks like they added a bit of clear vinyl to make it stand better. I really love this figure. It might be my personal favorite out of the two we opened today. One thing you can see on my close-up is this figure does have a standing problem. The clear vinyl section to support the second foot has a height difference. So the feet aren't even and it does lean. That's so disappointing. I do feel like the quality of these series aren't the same as older Skull Panda series. But maybe I just have a defective one. You'll have to let me know in the comments if you've opened up this character if you had the same problem. If I play around with it and I kind of like push it into the table, it does stand straight, but not for very long. It'll start to lean. But I do like how the disguise is definitely a completely different vibe from our Ink Plum series. They are so different and unique from each other. I know people who collect Skull Panda sometimes debate about the standing and the sitting Skull Panda figures, and a lot of people have said that they like the sitting ones more, but I really love this pose and I love how this series has standing figures. It's just such a cool figure, I just really love looking at it. Here's my two Skull Panda figures, I had so much fun opening these up. Who do you think won today's versus battle? Let me know down below in the comments and on my community page I'll have a poll up so you can vote on who you think won. Maybe I'll buy a full case of the winning series. I hope you have a great night and who should we battle next?